welcome back to our, our channel. 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 <laughs> Today's video is going to Sorry, be. Sorry, guys. Our um, 16 and pregnant. I say ours because we experienced it together. Pretty much. That's mm. how it goes down. So we're gonna start off by how we met. How we met. Yeah. How did we meet? In class. Boring. What class was it? It was second period sophomore year, which was. The beginning of the year. Yeah, September. <clears throat> the first time I met her was we were in groups and she was in my group. And then it I was had, a group of four. Yeah, it was a group Why, of four. We didn't pick. The teacher picked. Yeah, us. so like, it was pretty like, much you me four, with you four, you three four. girls that were freaking lazy, including this woman. And yeah, I had the not the right. It's just he thought he was a boss. Yeah, of the group. So pretty much I was a freaking boss of that group, which told. Her as one of the things that we right had. Right away, to do. he was like, "You're gonna cut." I was like, "You're, you're gonna, gonna cut. You're gonna write. <coughs> and you, you're gonna speak out when we speak out, and me, I'm gonna just tell you guys <coughs> what we're what gonna to write, do. and that's it." So they did exactly that. But this woman, she couldn't do what I told her to do, which was to cut a damn paper. Whoa. She was literally like <coughs> cutting out of the lines. <coughs> yeah, it was all bad. Even to now, she freaking cuts Nathaniel's homework and and she's still not even in the in the lines. So, pretty liar. Um, well, do it. <clears throat> I gotta get her classes to cut. <clears throat> to him, I do not know how to cut. You don't. And that <clears throat> is how we met. We were in class, and I fucking out. First thing he's like, "You don't know how to cut or what?" Bubble guys. Anyway, away for you. <clears throat> All right. Time passed. I, um, and then a couple days later, I, I guess he went to the movies. And he had put put a status up on Facebook saying um, that he just finished watching or he was gonna go watch the movie Paranormal Activity, which mm -hmm. I liked the status. And this was at night when he put it when he put it up, and I liked it. And then the next morning is when he me on Facebook saying, "What is Um. If I can, if she can help me, or if I can. No, you say, hey, me. can I have your number for my, for homework? Oh yeah, for homework. Mm -hmm. Homework. Not once did he ever ask me for homework, dude. Yeah, Not did. once. No, he didn't. After. Yeah, right. He didn't ask right. me for homework. But I gave it to him. I was like, whatever. So that's how we started talking. And then from talking, we started hanging out. The first time we hung out was in the boys' locker room. <laughs> no. Yes, it was. Oh yeah, it was. We hung no, out wait. there. That was the first time. <clears throat> yeah. I thought that was the second time. No, the first time. First time? So we wouldn't I... hang out at school. We wouldn't want no one to see because we weren't dating. We weren't like yeah, nothing. We're, we're just, just friends much... with benefits. Yeah, pretty much. I would sneak out to go to his house, which was All probably like, what, 20 minutes away from me? No, probably like 15. half an hour. I would have to take the bus, so it would take a little longer to get like there. Like half an hour? Yeah. So I would take probably the bus, more. and then um, I would always go that way i would always think about that way because if he were to come here i have a brother an older brother which would have probably killed him he did sneak into my house once he messaged me saying he was around the block somewhere and he's like oh well can i come over so then he did come over and then things happened months later into yeah. our little um secret little thing just put it down. yeah our so our little thing i found out i was pregnant I have I kept having dreams over and over and over that I was pregnant and, and over and over literally over I had a lot of dreams I was pregnant over so I finally decided to go to the 99 cent store and I bought a pregnancy test which I took there I took my little cousin with me oh. and um, when I found out I told two of my friends and then I didn't tell him yet until so I made an official doctor's appointment which was at the clinic at the clinic at, <laughs> at the, the clinic, clinic. And that's, that's like, that day I told him, the day I told him is the day that everyone found out, my whole family found out. And Literally, it was like a comadre and her, her comadre. Like the cheese man went like viral. It's like a Facebook post that somebody freaking... No, but video. it wasn't like from, uh, like no, from like know, not from neighbors. around from the world, family, just family-wise, family but family. that's how viral it spread. Yeah. Pretty much. So... And uh, the 
when I told him, he's like, well, it's not my baby. Like always, typical guys typical denying the guys. Kids. He knew exactly uh, that it was yours. But you I didn't, didn't know. want to. No, he was. He didn't want to be a dad, but yet he wanted to put in some work and be a horny <sighs> ass dog. Oh, and yeah. Oh, Anyways, um, I was later like, on that day, down the street. Oh, oh, oh. later on that day, <laughs> in the night, my sister came over with her little family, and I had, I trusted her and, and guys, telling her. That's when shit went down, guys. So just, I, just keep I told my sister I, I had something to tell her, and I showed her my ultrasound, and I trust, I, I had all my trust in her because when she was pregnant with her firstborn i was the first one she told and i kept it a and secret she kept it, so she thought that the sister was gonna do the same shit but hell no nah. she like oh girl yeah i'm so gonna anyway. tell my mama she speed down that and then no that's not how it happened I told my sister and then she's like well what are you gonna do and then she started crying and then she didn't believe me so i showed her where it says the day and my name and then after that, I told her, I was like, wow, I'm trying to keep it, you know? And then, Oi. let's go back to the, when I was at the doctor's appointment, <clears throat> they told me how far along I was, and I could, could not believe it. I was Couldn't three months pregnant, already, right? Three eyes. months and like a week. <coughs> and yeah, I was like, I was already way <coughs> too deep into the <coughs> pregnancy. And I was skinny, so there was no way that you could have seen she was as like, skinny as a palo. And you couldn't see that. There's no way. This was her hair and this was her body. <laughs> and this was There's her There's no way that you could right tell here. that I was pregnant. So three months, you couldn't tell nothing at all. And my parents were always like irregular at that time. So I, would, I wasn't really catching on to it. Mm. And then after that, like, for some reason, we both thought we couldn't have kids. Bruh. I thought I couldn't have kids and he thought he couldn't have kids because we, we wouldn't use protection. So this was going on for seven months just him like finishing in me and we wouldn't get i wouldn't get pregnant so, like, so it's kind of like we were asking for it but we were at the same time because we both thought we couldn't have kids for some stupid ass reason that's what we thought i know that's so know. dumb anyway we're like so, girl we can't have kids girl and then my sister's like so what are you gonna do and i told her wow i'm trying to keep it she's like well if you keep it i'm gonna call mom right now i'm gonna call dad i'm gonna call everyone and tell them she's like okay either you keep it or you or. have an abortion yeah and i told her wow i'm not gonna have an abortion right when she said that word like i just started crying i was like how do you how are you gonna tell me to do this like i never pushed you to do that with your kid so she called my mom my mom lived like three minutes away um, she got in her ferrari she zoomed all the way to her house and then what happened next? yeah she drove here and then right away she was crying she was screaming this was late this was probably like around she woke eight up by the nine. neighbors no she didn't just kidding she was here like this was late like eight or nine ten around there i remember my mom coming to tell my brother in the back room and he went inside the house he locked the door he shut the windows and i literally thought it was gonna be my last day on earth literally i thought he was gonna kill me when she started screaming at me telling me who it was and blah 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 and then my dad made him open the door because he was pounding 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 and my dad finally got to open the door and my dad already knew who it was because he was like oh is it the guy that i took you to his house because one time I remember I, was, I told my dad I could go to a friend's house because it was like a big party happening at his house and he let me go. My dad's always been the laid back one and yeah so he kind of already knew who it was and so when that happened my mom got here and it was just like fucking a huge ass drama. I was crying. I couldn't freaking like breathe. I couldn't believe it. I had my mom screaming at me, my dad screaming at me, my brother, my sister, and it was just horrible. The dogs were barking, the cats the were The only one that was on my side literally was my little brother, so shout out to him. My little brother, which he, he knew what was going on, but... He didn't he, understand exactly. Yeah, like, kind of, like I, like, I had explained to him, like, this is what they want me to do. And he's like, don't listen to them, like, it's not their body. It's your body, your baby, you know, your responsibility. And then I also, the one that was in my side was my grandma. Just my grandma and my little brother. And then that day, um, 
my mom it was that day or the second day. My mom went to no, his house. No, it was house. that day. It was that Babe, Sunday. There's no way my mom went at ten at night to oh, your okay, house. Okay, it was the second day. It was the second day that the my mom told day. me when you get out of school, we're gonna go to his house, and we went. He wasn't there. The I some ladies there. were there. The lady that La lived Sancha with was me. was there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so how old are that lady? <laughs> cougar. Yeah, she was cougar. there, and then so she told cougar, her. Girl. She told her, and then that's when they got to his mom. So and he already much, knew I was pregnant, much, okay. but he was like, <clears> "Let me talk." Wait, he he was hiding the fact. He would tell me like he was telling me like, "Make sure no one knows who I am. Make sure no one knows where I live. This baby's not mine, and I don't want nothing to do with it." And blah blah blah. He was denying it. He wanted me to have an abortion. And from his side of the family, they all want they he want he's the only one that wanted me to have an abortion. His sister, his mom, and his other sister. It. No, they yes. wanted me to give it up for adoption. No, yes. my mom's no. against that shit. Why adoption? Would she... Yes, adoption, not adoption. abortion. Adoption. adoption. You know the one that you have the kid and you send no, it out. No, no, they you all ship want. It with so on my family was UPS. abortion. On his family was adoption. No. And besides him, he wanted an abortion. He wanted nothing to do with that baby. So. <sighs> yeah, so let's see your your turn when your mom told you or whatever. My mom told me I was at my friend's Martin's house My mom called me told me if I knew this girl She's like, oh, do you know this girl named Vanessa? I was like, uh, no in my head I was like, what the hell? How the hell did she know? So anyway, she started telling me also oh, her mom just called me saying that you got her daughter pregnant in my head I was like Fuck, bro, really? You already knew. You're I was. Stupid. You're no, I didn't know. Yes, I, didn't I told know. you. I didn't know, yes. Shalene. I didn't know. What the hell? Why are you yes, clapping? You did. Why you are you clapping? Because you did. What the know. hell? You're making this. Like, like, oh, know. I got you, boo. I got you. Got you for child Child support, <laughs> motherfucker. I know where you live. I know who you is. I know who you is. Huh? Say the rest of the story. Okay, anyways, I was at his house, and then when she told me that if I knew this girl, I was like, fuck, bro, in my head, just pounding. She's like, yeah, she's gonna he got come horny. over. Wait! <laughs> I didn't get horny at that time. <laughs> what the hell? He got horny after. <laughs> no, I was scared. Johnny was scared. <laughs> I was scared. <laughs> uh, you guys don't know Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> That's Johnny. Go. Ah, go, go, go. Very funny. Um. Anyways, what was, what was I? She told okay, me yeah, like, she fuck. told me, and I was like, "Fuck!" And then after that, she's like, "Her mom's gonna come. They're gonna come to the house right now, so you better come to the house already. We're gonna all talk." And I was like, "Shit!" In my head, I was like, "Fuck!" This and that. I told my friend, I was like, "Fuck!" This happening. He couldn't believe it either. And then I was like, fuck. And I just told him, I'm like, oh, you know, I gotta leave already. I went home. And then I had my mom waiting for me. I had my brother waiting for me. I my had sister. his wife waiting for me. And I had my sister waiting for me. And I was like, shit. They're telling me, and who's this girl? And did you get her pregnant? And then my sister in law is all like, was it that girl that you brought the other day? I'm like, they know because I was there. Almost every other day, if not every they day. They had seen her, but they didn't know who she was. They just yeah, knew they, that she would get there. And I remember the last day of school. Last day of school. You came up to me and you told me, uh, my mom said, my mom wants you to go over or go over and talk. Really? Yeah, and that's, we were in PE when that happened. When we were there, you know how we weren't doing anything no more. We were just there. We had each other in PE too. Uh -huh. So I remember you telling me, oh, my mom wants you to come over. So um, I think I went home. I came home. And I told my mom, like, she wanted me to go over and talk to her, and blah, blah, blah. So I came home, I changed. Five minutes later, Five minutes later. that's when you, you're like, over oh, here. So I came out. This is my first time meeting his mom. Come so, up? yeah, you guys were here. So hell? we got home. I mean, we got home. She picked me up. We went to his house, and it was just his mom and his sister. And they were talking to me, and then it was also your <clears throat> battle through FaceTime. Oh. She was FaceTiming me. Because she was in another state at that yeah. time. <coughs> so, um, his sister, his older sister, was talking to me and telling me, you know, what do you want to do? And then, and then like, all these things. And then, how it happened. Are like, you sure he's a, is he's a dad? Oh, yeah, they were telling me. They're like, oh, are you sure he's a dad? And they were saying, oh, we're going to want DNA test. And the baby's born. So, this day, six years later, 
Anyway, my son is now six years old. Not once have they brought up the DNA test. They thought he wasn't his. My mom told me, well, she was telling me like to be in the baby's life, and I was like, all right. And I guess I had to change everything that I had in mind. I had to drop everything. Back to when I was like, my parents right. found out. My dad, the second day when I came home from when he came home from work. These were his words. If you keep the baby, you're gonna move out. So basically, he kicked me out. And, and if you don't keep it, you could still be here and like nothing ever happened. And I told him, I was like, okay, well, I'll think about it. So he's like, okay, I'll give it to you tomorrow. He literally gave me like two days to think about it. And I wasn't thinking. I was not thinking about anything. I just wanted the baby. And that's it. He was really upset because this was in March. On her kids, no. it was like, yeah, literally, he had threw me like a huge sweet 16, like three months before getting pregnant. So, imagine he threw all this money for nothing. Well, literally, for me to get pregnant three months later. So, that's what really upset him. I was his daddy's little girl, still, I was his baby. And he kicked me out. I ended up moving to my mom's house, and it was just me and her. We went probably like Five months, I think five months without talking to him, like without talking to my dad. I would come here every day to his house and like mm. he gets home at six. So I would leave like at 550 from here. I wouldn't let him see me. So I would leave and yeah, I went forever. And the day of his birthday, I messaged him and I told him happy birthday and all this. And I was crying while I was texting him. I remember this day like it was freaking yesterday. Literally, it was a Saturday. Babe, it was yesterday, babe. <clears throat> no, literally like. I remember I was crying when I was telling him, and then my mom called him, and he's like, oh, how are you going to do this to her? She's over here crying for you, and blah, blah, blah. <coughs> That's so sad. So then my dad's like, oh, do you want to come? Like, because we always go eat. And then he's, I was like, oh, what are you going to do? He's like, oh, we're going to go to Lucio's. And then he's like, oh, do you want to come? And literally when he said that, I started crying even more. And then I got up, I got I started getting ready, my mom dropped me off, and when he seen me and I seen him, I we hugged each other, we started crying. I still wasn't talking to my older brother, he we, he didn't talk to me till like the day till Jada the, till my nephew was born, till uh, the day that my nephew uh, was No, I don't think I was talking to him that day his thing. No, it was that one time when he came already, when Jaden was already here. So yeah, like September twentieth, like probably September 30th or something that's when we started talking or probably like oh, the beginning of October when his son was already born anyways we want to go eat though everyone was talking to me besides my older brother and then and when the baby was born I wanted to come back to my dad's but there was kind of no room here so I ended up going back to my mom's and then that's when he ever since Nathaniel was born that's when he tagged along and he's been living with me since then since Nathaniel was born huh? I've been living with you, we've been both living with each other. So yeah, that's our story of our 16 and pregnant. That's and somewhat of our story. Say, huh? That's yeah. somewhat of our story. Yeah, we, we could do a second part to it. Of yeah, like, we could do a second part as if like when we already had them. I'm trying to find pictures for you guys. So when I was pregnant with Nathaniel, they threw me two baby showers. One was a surprise by his they're family. Both, like, both yeah, they were both surprises. One was from his family and the other one was from my family. So this is the picture that I have from his family's baby shower I don't know you guys can see they call it little we look this was Nathaniel he was born that was a little booger it was a little booger and even to this little day little he was to this day he's still a little booger we'll do a second part to see like from there how did we start like going oh how, how our little. friends like our friends uh, our friends, friends our friends our friends are Stood around. That's either wait, stood our friends around, that no, stuck okay. around. Stood around or stuck around. Stuck around. Our friends that uh, were still around. our friends and friends that stopped talking to us because of the fact that I was I was pregnant or he was pregnant. Did you have anyone? That uh, what? That was that was stopped stop talking, talking to you that or that like kind of like like a difference in them like when you guys want to hang out. Mm. I think there was with you guys. You. There was with me and I will put it on the second part. Uh, oh, so yeah. if you guys like this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. Also, don't forget to comment and subscribe. Don't and subscribe. don't subscribe. No, I'm just yeah, subscribe. This time I can say subscribe. Thank you for watching, guys. Peace.